know, it seems like only a week ago that Mike stood up on behalf of the elders and challenged all of us to read through the New Testament in 100 days. And I think about what a blessing that could be if all of us do that, if we are all you know, committed to doing that. And I know it's easy to fall away and it's easy for us to uh, miss a day or two uh, here and there, but continue to do that. This past week, you know, we're reading from the book of Luke. And uh, as I read through Luke chapter 4 and the temptations of Jesus in the wilderness, uh, there were three things that really jumped out to me that I thought were really good to remind us of how important it is uh, to continue to read God's Word. You know, as Jesus was there being tempted, uh, I'm reminded, first of all, that the devil is relentless. Uh, for 40 days, it says that Jesus was there being tempted by the devil. And then it was only at the end of those 40 days of temptation that we hear those final three uh, where, you know, he said, aren't you hungry? Don't, won't you make these uh, stones, turn them into bread? And uh, Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone. And then he talks to him about power and authority. And, you know, Jesus, again, turns him away with God's word. And uh, so th then there's a one, one more temptation. And ultimately, after fighting off the temptation, the devil leaves. And it says that the devil leaves for an opportune time. So the first thing is the relentlessness of the devil. The second part is Jesus not only used God's word um, as a tool to help him fight off the temptation, but also to show the devil just where his allegiance lied. You know, these things have already been said. God's word is with me and it helps me through these struggles. And it helps me to overcome the temptations that are there. I mean, even David knew that back in Psalm 119, verse 11, when he said, your word I have treasured in my heart that my, I might not sin against you. And then I think about uh, the words in uh, James chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, where it says, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. And so those things are kind of linked together. You know, staying with God's word helps us to have the confidence to resist the devil and to know that God's going to draw near to us. And then the final thing that struck me as I read through Luke chapter 4, and especially through these temptations, was that the devil left and he would come back at a more opportune time. Don't you feel that sometimes, like the temptations that are there and you battle through those and you overcome them and the devil, you know, that, that urge and that desire to do the wrong thing leaves you, but then it just continues to come back? I think that reminds us of just how important it is to keep God's word with us. You know, your word I've treasured in my heart, but I might not sin against you. Think about that. And then in Ephesians chapter 6, when Paul is talking to the church at Ephesus and he says to put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. And so, you know, there's talk about the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, uh, your belt of truth, the feet shod with preparation of the gospel. And all those things are great, but there's two that are, that are linked together. And those two are the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and the shield of faith. And it says with those two things, that we'll be able to withstand all the fiery darts of the evil one. So man, I can't think of a better way to remind us of the temptations we struggle with every day, all the things that we go through and we're challenged by, and to know that God's Word is a help to give us the confidence to fight the temptation, but also to, know, to let the devil know just where our allegiance lies. Please continue to read. Even if you've missed several days, jump in there on the days that are on the card and read and continue to strengthen yourself and to give yourself the ability to fight off the devil because we know he'll come back again. And this is a way for us to stay stronger together. So 100 days, stay with it.